are so glad to have you here on Morning After, everybody. I'm Jenny and Shondo. And, you know, we've been talking a lot about these tests. We showed that video of, gosh, the excitement when somebody finds out that they are COVID negative or that they get through their quarantine and they are rejoined with their families. But the question we've been covering a lot here on this show is that of the tests and, and why are sometimes people getting a positive test then a negative then a positive and, and it's just led to a lot of confusion so we figured we would pull in an expert dr james is the ceo of diamond physicians you also know him from the tv show chasing the cure which was nominated for a webby award so congratulations on that and welcome in dr james hi jenny thanks for having me on okay let's clear up the confusion we how many tests are there out there and why do some people get a test that comes back in two weeks and some people get it back in a half an hour? Yeah, so there's three different types of tests. There's antibody testing, there's antigen testing, and then there's PCR testing, which is a type of antigen testing. At this point, antibody testing really isn't very fruitful. We don't know if uh, you do have antibodies for COVID-19, if that will translate into immunity down the line. We've seen cases of people being infected with COVID-19 twice. Uh, so I don't recommend antibody testing right now unless you just want to know if you've had it in the past. You really want to know if you're contagious. And to do that, uh, you have to go with PCR testing, which is the gold standard, it stands for polymerase chain reaction. And that's a fancy word for uh, we actually amplify the DNA and RNA from the sample taken uh, 100 times and then compare it to existing COVID-19 strains. The problem with PCR is it's uh, expensive, it takes a lot of time, it's very labor intensive, and it's taking 10 to sometimes 14 days to get your results back. So that's really not a great way to screen a lot of people rapidly. Um, I like viral antigen testing. Um, here at Diamond, we use a test from Quidel. It's best in class. Uh, it's rapid, it's 15 minutes, it's a front of the nose swab, so we call that an anterior nary, it's a quick swab of the front of the nose, where PCR is the back of the nose, nasopharyngeal, very uncomfortable, very challenging. Uh, with the viral antigen testing, Jenny, the sensitivity is now 96.7%. So it's gonna be accurate almost 97% of the time, and PCR is accurate between 95 and 99%. So I highly recommend viral antigen testing with Quidel. That's who we use at, at Diamond. Uh, there's a lot of other companies uh, doing PCR testing. There's only two on the market that are doing viral antigen testing. Uh, Quidel and, and BD just came out with theirs, and BD sensitivities are 84%. So Quidel is much better in my clinical opinion. Uh, and it's just a matter of trying to get these, these testing opportunities out to the public, to our community, so we can test as many people as possible. Well, and I would say to people, okay, then call ahead and find out which test do you, they're, they're giving when you go there. But the problem at this point is the lines are out the door. People are trying to get anything they can get. And then we're also hearing of people ordering tests online. Is that recommended? Yeah, the ordering tests online, I do not recommend. You just don't know what you're getting. A lot of companies have jumped into the COVID-19 testing game uh, because of the pandemic. And honestly, Jenny, they just want to make money. And these tests have not been uh, substantiated with clinical data. They have not been approved by the FDA. In fact, the FDA took some of these tests off the market that were home administered tests. I highly recommend you go somewhere that a medical professional is performing the swab. Uh, I understand that a lot of testing centers in Dallas don't have the resources and are having people swab themselves. But when it comes to PCR testing, that swab has to go all the way to the back of the nose, your nasal pharyngeal cavity. There is no way that someone could administer that test to themselves mm -hmm. properly because it's so uncomfortable. I've had the PCR testing done um, by a medical professional. It is really uncomfortable. I could not do that to myself. Yeah, we, we, we talked about Joey Gallo and we've talked about him on the show because he, he posted publicly saying, hey, I've had negative tests, I've had positive tests, he had a, a negative antibody test, but tested positive for coronavirus. How, how do we sort all of this out? And, and I also want to hear about the program that you all are working on at Diamond with Major League Baseball. Yeah, you know, the, the Joey Galloway story is, is really challenging because Major League Baseball is trying to open the, the season safely, but they're really having problems with, with transport and timing uh, with their lab. The tests are being done, uh, I think, out of, out of Utah, uh, and they, I agree with the centralized um, position, but at the same time, if you're taking three, five, seven days to get the test results back, it's really hard. So um, 
we are working with Quidel directly and our technology arm, Viviture, so Diamond Physicians and Viviture and Quidel have teamed up uh, for a COVID-19 tracing program. And we've actually signed 10 MLB teams. We expect Major League Baseball to um, partner with us formally in the next 24 hours. Uh, and we're going to be able to alleviate some of that stress on Major League Baseball with the transport and the issues of turnaround time. So we're going to be able to test uh, players and staff in 15 minutes, have those results back immediately. And if someone turns out positive, you take them out of the population so that they don't infect others and put them in quarantine. Interesting. Okay. Well, look, Dr. James is helping people and also helping us to keep our sports rolling. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Uh, again, Dr. James is with Diamond Physicians.